Hello, this is George Nima from Map Real Talk Show. Uh, back in January, we're in post-production right now. We interviewed this great gentleman by the name is uh, Russell J. Holmes. He's from the Discovery Channel. He is co-hosting as well. And he gave us the privilege by giving us an interview. And what a magnificent one was off the cuff. No microphone, no anything. He's just like, we just mushed in right in and we start talking. And he was just an incredible to give us that opportunity, him and his uh, co-workers as well. I want to thank him so much. Plus, we had a great team with us uh, that day as well. And we had the Thorntons with us. We had uh, Ken Ronk. And we had uh, Dina Moody. And we had another gentleman. And we had so many people involved. But then we, uh, I did not have the right proper mic. So we just did it off the cuff. However, we aired the first one on the air but then as i looked at it and it got better and better and the support from mr uh, uh russell holmes i decided you know with the help of my friend james to see if we could edit somehow bring it in the pieces because they also videotaped it uh, off the cuff as well on the side so we're trying to edit it i should say james was trying to put it together and i think he did a wonderful job so this is why this intro is a different kind of intro i just want you to know this is like a few months later like we in post production but i want to thank you so much and i want to thank barry jackson for giving us the opportunity to be inside, of course, and give us the uh, media pass, press pass. And we thanked him very much uh, even back then, and we thank him again now. Thank you so much, and we'll see you real soon. Stay tuned for the show. Sometimes being the way we are, like you just said it earlier, I wish I could have got it on tape. Yeah. That sometimes we have to remember, like you, would, like if you could repeat it regarding the, the taking the shirt with Elvis said, so I could, so I could reply to what I'm about to say now, because it's not on tape. You were saying to me earlier about Elvis. About Elvis, for, yeah. You know, I'm really. People say you're really humble, and that's because I've had the ability to be yeah. in a place that a lot of other people aren't. And a real power of example for me was Elvis Presley. Right. He said that if somebody asked him for the shirt off his back, he'd right. give it to him because if it wasn't for them, he wouldn't have the shirt. So we got to remember that stuff. You know, we are where we are and blessed to be able to do it. People put us there. Well, that's what you're doing to me right now. 
<laughs> you get it? That's why I wanted because I didn't have it on tape and I, I had to make it repeated. Yeah. I adore men like you, like from a man to man perspective. Thank you. Because guys like you, they could be walking around with a snub, but you didn't. You came, yeah. you, were, you talked to all my crew, you talked to us, and I'm really privileged to even meet you, sir. My name is George Nima, sir. George. And I'd like to know, like, if you could say to the viewers that are watching us right now and watching us later, what, like, you give me, like, your name and then background, just a little. So the people get familiar, even though they know you, I know. Yeah. But just for me to have it on the live. So, my name's Russell Holmes. I'm actually the co-host of Garage Rehab on the Discovery Channel and Fast and Loud on the Discovery right. Channel. Uh, I work at Gas Monkey Garage. I actually have my own shop. Um, I've been blessed to be able to help out a lot of garages on Garage Rehab, struggling businesses. And then on Fast and Loud, I get the fun of making high-end car builds with an amazing team with my co-host, Richard Rawlings. I mean, we've got to do stuff like even building a car for the Brady Bunch. Wow. You know, I've had Greg Brady in my truck taking him to lunch. I got a hug from Marsha Brady. I this mean, is come on, Marcia, I'm blessed Marcia. to be able to be where I am. Well, this is why I was saying, like, you, you, you set the premise right now with that example yeah. because you took me like right into the heart of what, what you're all about. Yeah. It, you don't have to even say more into drugs. I wish I could just have two minutes of this and it would last a lifetime. Because right. guys like you makes me also look good. From, I'm being <laughs> right. honest with you. Yeah, no, I like, you know what I mean? It. Like, you know, I, I, I was a coach, soccer yeah. coach, soccer player, right. director of coaching, filmmaker. It's always been my title, like always helping others. Now I see it from this side yeah. of this camera. You helping me, me and, uh, and others, and as I look at my crew, as you see, look, they all look like smiling and big faces, and and this is what it's all about at the end of the day. And this function, yeah. I'm so amazed for the past 10 years. Uh, Barrett Jackson, because we have to touch base on it because you're here. Yeah. And, and Mr. Jackson and his wife has been enormous hospitality, beyond measures. Well, and Greg they don't, and Carolyn, yeah. what a lot of people don't understand is not only aside from the auction and right. and this amazing thing that they do four times a year they are huge in giving back i mean the charity cars that have yes. gone across here and and the stuff that they do to help the community and other people is unbelievable and so understated that they don't they're not just this huge brand no they care and beyond this like the money like he it's just you know a lot of people tight can we say tight yeah tight ass can yep. we say like that yeah but here's you got a generous man yeah just going all out Absolutely. helping every cause there is i don't even know how he keeps up and that's why i wanted to mention him today yeah because he also gave us an enormous support great for the show for allow us to do what we're doing right now awesome. allowing us to speak with a gentleman like you. you we off the ground for arizona yeah. and just to let you know if they don't love you they're gonna love you more <laughs> Because that's what I'm all about. And exactly. you know, you can tell the way I talk. I'm yeah. like a, a coach, yeah. not even a director sometimes. I appreciate Because I want to kick that butt now, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> because guys like you bringing in all these businesses to Arizona, yeah. Arizona get to thrive. Our governor is happy. Yeah. Our state legislative are happy. B because they see the enormous work they bring in on themselves, how they bring it into Arizona. This is why we want to cover it. Nobody else covers the good stuff. And we we always live it. We actually came here and filmed an episode, one of the episodes of our show right here in Phoenix. Right. And the city and the state was so welcoming to us. We look forward to coming back. Oh, definitely. I want to thank you so much for doing this few minutes, sir. Thank you. God I bless you. I want to be thank like with you on tape. Here we go, a selfie like with the video. <laughs> this is the man here that's making things happen. This is welcome, the man. Welcome to Arizona. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yep. I appreciate it. God bless you. Oh, yes. I tell you, listen, I just picked that up on my own, I swear to God. I was just interviewing with Russell, and all of a sudden, I meet this gentleman, and out of curiosity, I walked over, and I came to talk to him. And I, I, I want you to hear what he had to say to me, like, a little bit. He doesn't, li he doesn't like interviews, but I, I kind of coerced him a little bit with passion. I go, can you give me a little bit about you? What is your name? Steve Mabry. I own the Rusty Buffalo Company, and Russell and I have a company, uh, Modern Vintage Customs, and we do 
finish outs and work on cars. Got what, what, how do you feel being on Barry Judge? Do you come here all the time? Came here last year with Richard. I love it. It's amazing. You get it is. sensory overload. There's so many cool things here. Everybody is professional and friendly. Great time. See, I know you're behind the scene kind of a guy. Uh, always behind the I, scene. I could tell from the, as soon by, as I have. By how bad this interview is. But I've, I, I, listen, we, listen, we did a selfie interview with you. Right. Because you're behind the scene like me. Right. I'm also behind the scene. I'm a director. Yeah. Lately, I've been like hosting. Yeah. But as a matter of fact, people that know me, the viewers, they know I'm a director. I'm a film producer. Now we're both famous. Now we both, like, the first time on camera, what are look we going to do? Look at that. So here you are now. We're going to do our own show. Yeah. I really, I want to thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. Well, thank you But if you, you could say much. your name at the end, is it Steve? What is Steve it? Mabry. Steve Mabry. I want to thank you so much, sir. Thank I really you. mean it. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it, it sir. Thank you so Have much. Have a great weekend. You too, sir. Thank All you. Right.